I remember the first bad customer experience I had as a 17 year old movie theater employee. I remember the time, again, I got yelled at so badly I had to go home. I remember the threats, the name calling, the police escorts, and I definitely remember the one time someone set my building on fire. Different story. But I also remember the times I was able to turn a bad situation into a positive experience because I had the tools and the skills needed to make a difference. And the best memory I have from almost 20 years of customer service experience is one of those moments. You see, I was managing the world's busiest roller coaster at the time, and it was a busy, warm summer, summer day in July. And a mom, a dad, and two young boys, they came up to the entrance to the ride, and they found that we were actually closed for technical reasons at that time. And it's always disappointing when your favorite ride is unavailable. But these parents were a little bit more than disappointed. And by the looks on their faces, their mood could be best described as pre-volcanic at that moment. At least that's how it looked to me because I was about 10 feet away. So I wandered over to them and I did my typical, hey everybody, how's it going today? And that was the opening that the parents needed because they started into the story of what had become an all around bad day. Because first, their tickets didn't scan properly at the front gate, so they had to wait for someone to come over to help them. Then they stood in line for 30 minutes to get coffee. Then they tried to go on the ride next door, but that broke down right before they were about to get on. And I could tell this was gonna go for a bit. And we were surrounded by a few hundred people that were trying to get on this ride. So I asked the family to walk with me so we could get out of the crowd. And I already had an idea for what I was gonna do to fix their day, but I didn't say anything yet. So instead, we just kind of walked down the path as they continued to tell me about everything that had gone wrong. And the two little boys, they were following along as their parents were clearly taking advantage of the opportunity to vent to someone wearing manager clothes. But it was actually the, the little boys that figured out what was going on way before the parents did because they were a little distracted. So I just kept listening and then I you know, kind of nudged the family to stand up alongside the wall um, as I put my arm up in the, uh, this is my arm in the hold sign that I was still listening to them, holding my arm up. And you know, we kept talking as I just kind of ushered them along into the ride vehicle that had just pulled up in front of us. And that was when they realized that I had walked them all the way into the unload area of Splash Mountain. And they had no idea what was going on as I, as I leaned into the vehicle and I handed them a set of fast passes and I told them to come, come on back over to my location and visit us once we got things fixed up. Uh, but until then, enjoy the ride and oh, by the way, stay dry. And then I dropped my arm into the clear signal and off they went into the ride and I never saw that family again. But I did hear about them because my boss called me into her office about a month later and handed me a letter from guest relations. The family had written to the company about the wonderful time they had on vacation. And the bulk of the letter was about that day and that interaction with the manager at Splash Mountain who had saved the vacation. And their kids actually had started calling me a superhero because I could get them on the ride without having to wait. And all it took to turn a no good, very bad, terrible day into an experience worth writing a letter about was five minutes, the willingness to help, a few simple recovery tools, and the know-how to pay attention and step in before an upset customer becomes a bad customer.